As you look down over the water cube, now time for the Chevy gold medal spotlight event, and it is Michael Phelps in the men's 200-meter freestyle final. Phelps two for two so far in his two toughest events, and now he takes aim in an event he has turned into one of his most dominant. There is his mom, Debbie Phelps, who's got a new guest next to her, NBC's Chris Collinsworth, who's got the best job in television. And he's going to feel all the pressure there that Debbie Phelps is feeling as her son goes for another Olympic gold, looking for his ninth career gold, trying to match the greatest Olympic champions of all time. You know, he's dominant in the event now, but in Athens, the 200 free was relatively new for him. But his competitive fire and willingness to take on the big stars in the event has helped get him to where he is today. Four years ago, it was a great experience racing Thorpe and, and Hogan Bond head to head like that. The torpedo gets the gold. Bond and Hogan Bond gets the silver, and Phelps gets the bronze. I always look back. I'm like, God, if I had one more stroke. One more stroke. If Phelps said that race was just a little longer and one more stroke left, he said he could have won the gold. Thorpe has since retired. Phelps took care of the Torpedoes' world record at the World Championships. And he has great motivation to touch first here. We expect him to do so. Let's check the lanes around Phelps. And lane one from Switzerland is Dominique Maitre. First Olympic final for the two-time Olympian in lane one. Next to him is Paul Biederman of Germany in lane two, the European champion seventh at those worlds last year. Lane three from South Africa. Jean Passan, part of the South African contingent that trains at the University of Arizona with U.S. Olympic coach Frank Bush. Lane four is Phelps' club Wolverine teammate, Peter Vanderkay, number one qualifier, looking for his first individual Olympic medal just outside of the medal picture in the 400 free. Lane 5. Park Taewon of Korea already picked up the first Olympic swimming medal for Korea and it was gold in the 400. How good is he going to be in the shorter distance here in the 200? He's right next to Michael Phelps who is trying to match Pavo Nurmi, Larissa Latinina, Carl Lewis and fellow swimmer Mark Spitz with his ninth career Olympic goal. Next to Phelps in lane 7. Yoshihiro Okamura of Japan, the Japanese record holder who was 10th in the 04 Olympics and routing out the field in lane eight, Robbie Rennick of Great Britain. So here we go, Rowdy. Michael Phelps looking for Olympic history. Third from the top in lane six. Boy, every race we've watched Michael Phelps swim, he swam so well within himself. Will he do, though, just enough to win? Or will we ride along with this magical mystery tour and see him break another world record? Boy, he's jumping on it early. Michael Phelps in this four legs of the pool race, already with 10 Olympic medals, eight of them gold, two already here, sets the early pace, and he's under his world record, what he set in Melbourne at 143.86. The problem with the rest of the field, even the great Peter Vanderkay, who's in lane number four, that trains with Michael day in and day out, nobody can match the speed and the endurance that Michael Phelps has. He's already a full body length I think we do know now he's going for that world record. His coach Bob Bowman calls him a motivation machine, a bulletin board type of guy. Ian Thorpe, whose world record Phelps broke last year, said he doubted Phelps' ability to get seven goals. Phelps told us that the clipping went immediately into the back of his locker. Phelps really has never kind of let go of that rivalry with Thorpe. And you know Thorpe is watching this race with Phelps ahead of his world record line. Well, he was eight-tenths of a second at the 100, and now he's almost a full second under world record pace with about 40 meters left. Can the Americans make it a sweep? Banner K was second in lane four. He's a couple lanes below Phelps in lane six and just below Park Taewon. But Michael Phelps once again making it look easy. He's going to tie the greatest Olympic champions of all time and do it in world record fashion. Vander Kay took the bronze. Park outraced him for the silver. But another gold medal for America's Michael Phelps. Broke the world record by almost a full second. 
and Peter Vanderke picks up his first individual Olympic medal. The Americans go 1-3 around Park Taewon. That is a great swim by Peter Vanderke to get the bronze, but Michael Phelps, watch this final turn. He has great instinct. He plants those feet on the wall, but he has awareness to know where his competitors are. He keeps his head down, perfect streamline, great ankle flexibility, and then watch this finish with real speed. There you go, into the wall with five meters left, puts his head down and smashes the world record. In addition to the nine career goals, which matches the flying Finn, the long distance runner from Finland, the Russian gymnast, Larissa Latinina, Carl Lewis, the great track and field star for the United States, and Mark Spitz. Michael Phelps just won his 11th career Olympic medal, which ties Matt Biondi and Spitz for the most medals by an American male in Olympic history. And our new pal, Chris Collinsworth, <laughs> gets a hug. <laughs> this amazing journey continues. Michael Phelps now three for three here in Beijing, his second world record after he started it off in the 400 IM with one. 142.96. Park Taewon with another medal for Korea. And Peter Vanderke, who went through all those training sessions with Mike, Michael Phelps in Ann Arbor, picks up the bronze for the United States. Phelps, a busy man. He's got the semis of the 200 fly a little bit later on in fact just less than an hour so we're going to let him get ready for that go to the cool down and get ready for his next event michael phelps all golden so far in beijing